high Pisces. So most of my cards are packed. So I have just a, a few here, but I want to show up. I'm going away in two days. And Pisces, you might be feeling this um, feeling like it's stress, anxiety, but it could also be excitement at this time as you're undergoing a huge transition in your life. Number nine is very significant. You did get 11 as well. 9-11, you could be seeing a lot these days. But Pisces, I see here a situation where you are definitely going on to a journey. And I see another person as well. I see love. You might have to be going on to your own path at this time for a while, separating for some, from someone that is really dear to you. I did see this thinking woman and the thinking man, so two people, a power couple that a very strong connection, soul connection, that perhaps right now needs to be separated for a little bit. Um, so that actually you guys can be together in a healthier way in the future. Um, it's this moment where the heart hurts, but it is that very hurt and that very separation that is going to bring you guys actually closer together. It's paradoxically the door to your happiness, your ten of cups, to the commitment that you two truly, truly want. You started here with discontent and boredom. For me, this is the masculine energy. Someone who is not happy about their life, who is bored, who knows that where they're at is not what they want. What they want is you, Pisces, here, the Empress. You could be very fertile this time, very creative. Um, you could be pregnant as well. The heart chakra here is very much um, underlined with this green light at the heart center. You are being very strong at this time and asked to spiritual strength. Maybe a little bit in a hermit mode where you need to hold on tight to this light within you because transition is not easy when you have to move on in this way. This is you, Pisces, going towards the light, towards another life, which is going to bring you a Three of Cups, rejoicing and celebration here, where you're going to be appreciated, Pisces. Maybe someone will give you a rose. A flower but you've had to really stand your ground to continue going on to this journey of yours even though maybe you have to be separated there is this emotional loss this could be you but also I feel it's more the masculine here that is feeling the loss of you and sometimes Pisces we need to have some distance between two people so that they miss each other in a way, missing is this space, this air that enables the fire to be reignited as well. But overall, Pisces, right now you need to be so strong when it comes to fear of abandonment. You have sacral chakra here, fear of um, all fears really that bring you anxiety. Number 18 here calling to the other number 18 of the other deck, which is the shadow where you've had to really not let your emotions get the best of you. You have the first chakra as well. Archangel Michael is around you in this difficult transition. But this stand your ground and first chakra is showing how strong you are this time. Maybe you don't know it, maybe you don't feel it, but you are Pisces. 
you have caring connections you're definitely two people that love each other you have telepathic communication Archangel Metatron this long distance might actually strengthen the relationship and the fact that energetically you're gonna be communicating in dreams and synchronicities and signs numbers but Pisces overall you're going towards your personal healing and happiness which might definitely include this person in the future but it is a leap of faith it is really choosing above all in any circumstance your quietude here yuki ona see this blue energy very peaceful this is really choosing this inner calm this inner peace that can never be taken away pisces the place within you that is deeper than all those th thoughts all that is tying you up you are liberating yourself pisces and this is bringing you to your victory and abundance number 11 here cornucopia it's most beautiful so don't doubt the path you're on, you're on yeah it hurts but you are going towards material harvest emotional withdrawal came after you had the material harvest just after it so it's like feeling the emotion and still continuing moving step after step after step one step forward Pisces baby steps you will have partnerships and alliances as well here coming through so whatever obstacles and challenges are showing up right now you just need to continue following your truth Pisces and definitely get out of this mental conflict yeah anxiety that we saw yes yesterday or two days ago in the readings you are surrounded by good luck at this time you have sarasvati here maestra you're going towards your mastery towards the life that you want the life that you are creating as the empress there will be music there will be spiritual wisdom where you're going and this is because you have the power and the inner strength right now to whatever feeling is being felt you're aware of it but you're aware of it's the source of the feeling and the source of the feeling is this calmness within you the deeper sense of fullness and wholeness that everything is okay and everything is happening as it should at this time Pisces the past you're letting go of you're being liberated at this time you're liberating yourself Pisces you're doing all of this by standing your ground by staying strong Pisces and you have here literally two angels Archangel, Archangel Metatron and Archangel Michael by your side this was number 44 this is Archangel Michael showing up here for you you're following the wisdom within you the divine wisdom yeah Pisces and you have wisdom again behind so it's like you are reaching a state of truth of integration with your soul which is enabling you to move through life in a, a more flowing way where you're not being your own burden where your own emotions are not a burden where the emotions of others are not a burden you're allowing in your life only this caring connection Pisces <laughs> sorry I'm gonna let it <laughs> that's so funny Pisces and that's what it is <laughs> the celebration the bubbles 
champagne. Only love and lightness. I don't even know what this ring is. It's not even the ring of my phone. <laughs> okay, Pisces. So that's the lightness, the laughter that we need at this time. Recognizing that whatever you're discontent about here, look, behind him is a castle, it's life, it's happiness, balance. It's right there and you are going towards it. Here, I think that this is a masculine that is not seeing it, it being very sad sad Pisces but you being the strength here you being the one the, the example you leading by example right now and the masculine is definitely seeing your strength and that's contagious your strength is you're helping them become stronger as you step into your own spiritual strength Okay, so let's get into your tarot here, Pisces. <laughs> yeah, music. Music can be very significant at this time. It can really help you go through this. Maybe in your trip, you're going to be listening to some music. Maybe you have a particular song that resonates um, deeply for the two of you as well. But here, when I was shuffling the deck, Underneath you got the star Pisces. This is beautiful. This is following your dream. It's you healing and it's you being the star. It's watering your dream and just staying focused on that. Yeah, transformation taking place. Four of sword. Those two wanted to come out, Pisces. There's a definite death and rebirth happening here, where Four of Sword is taking the time out, time to heal. I think you've been going through that, and you are definitely here being reborn into this new life. Those new horizons are taking place, Pisces. Yeah, and underneath the Ten of Cups. When I was pre-shuffling also, it was coming through a lot. This is complete emotional fulfillment. This is a by the way with someone. It's not alone, Pisces. It's not left out in the cold anymore. Yeah, underneath you have the Prince of Cups. This is love, Pisces. And it's he's on a unicorn. This is miracles. Whatever impossible the situation might be here, you know, maybe the masculine is finding themselves in a situation that they really need to break free from as well. Um, they need to, if their heart is burning for you and I'm feeling it is, they need to make a clear decision and a clear new start in their own life. And right now they might be definitely dying. It's a definite death process. You cannot live if you don't die, Pisces. I think you know that. If you don't completely die to your old self, there's no way there's, there's going to be a clean slate for a whole new beginning. And that's who you are internally, because that is what you manifest, Pisces. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. You have the Ace of Wands, Pisces, starting your reading. This is this new passionate beginning. It could be a very, very um, you know, sexual card, but it's in the sense that there's a lot of passion um, if it is with a person, but it's also you following your own passion, and it's a beautiful new start. Yeah, the chariot underneath. You're taking control of your life, you're taking the reins, you are moving towards this. This could be also the masculine that will be coming to you wherever you are going at right now. Cancer energy. But here we're starting with fire Pisces. 
and look at you know the rainbow behind that we saw so the person door for personal healing and happiness this is where you're going Pisces to a balanced place to your life true life where you live every single moment with a burning fire you truly live you're not half zombie half you know like the four of cups not living your true life you're having the courage to follow only your passion pisces even if it hurts and even if the situation right now is not enabling you to be with someone that you love Yeah, Pisces, Six of Wands, Victory, Six of Wands. You're going towards your success. You're going, you are on the right path. This is just a confirmation here. You had a lot of uh, cards coming up, but here, two major arcana, 8, 11 could be also significant for you guys synchronistically. You have Strength and Justice, Pisces. Beautiful. So definitely as you're going towards this new beginning, Pisces, this new beginning will bring you the balance that is that you deserve. Whatever wasn't balanced before, maybe in this situation, this person was just not um, giving you what you deserve in the way that maybe they are still stuck in another situation you know justice has to do with legal situation here uh, we have those two wands here right behind we have the two of wands as well so this is 11 11 Pisces this is calling to a twin flame um, but <clears throat> definitely here justice is being served and you had to be really strong you had to really balance your own inner self but your reward is this new beginning Pisces You have tamed the lion within you. You have tamed the imbalances. And again, we are in this Libra season. We're going towards this new moon in Libra next week. So this makes complete sense, Pisces, when it comes to relationships. You have found and integrated more of your feminine energy where you're able to also whatever anger was coming through before frustration you have been taming that we have two women here the infinite symbol you could be dealing with a leo as well or he has a leo placements um but here what we see is we have a definite ending ten of sword with the two of wands uh, <laughs> So, the two of wands here is, you know, when you're planning, when you are um, at a crossroad where you're not sure, you're putting an end to that because now you have chosen, you have chosen your path. By the way, this is the two of wands, right? And you started the reading with one wand. So there's only one wand. Maybe that's also the masculine that has been in a situation where there's been two, two um, different uh, energies in their life and they've had to um, choose. And that's done. They have chosen Pisces. We have a lot of music today. <laughs> Sorry, Pisces. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 is the end of a cycle, the beginning of a new one, Pisces. This is beautiful. All the swords. Mental conflict when it comes to choice is over. From two to only one, Pisces. A commitment. Victory.
Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. But this is you, Pisces. You are this grounded queen that has decided to now really focus on its path when it comes to its mission, um, whatever you can create that is going to be sustainable. You are connected to the earth, to how you can manifest materially. You're serene. This is, you have found this balance, Pisces. We still have the Six of Wands here, victory. You are victorious here, Pisces. You have stood your ground. You have tamed whatever lion was around in your life. Ego. You have tamed your ego, which is enabling you to now live only from pure fire, the pure fire of your soul. You're clear. No mental conflict. You're reborn, moving forward. Nine of Pentacle here. This is being independently uh, self-employed. Put doing anything, knowing that you can manifest anything. You can be successful, be abundant, alone. You can do it. No self-doubt anymore. And by the way, this Queen of Pentacles has a lot of fire around her as well. So it, it is normally earth energy, but I feel fire here. You have found the strength to say what you have to say clearly. Speak your truth. Be your truth. Be in integrity, Pisces. No, oh, it's beautiful, Pisces. Oh my God. Four of Wands. This is union when it comes to Twin Flame. And this is huge because and again you have the six of wands still is doesn't want to get go away here is victory success being in the spotlight this whole first row here pisces you have you start with the one wand yeah ace of one two of wands and then four of wands this is extremely powerful when it comes to union when it comes to those two here, two soulmates that have chosen each other, there's only one one here, and have decided to make it a foundation for, to be homecoming. This has really demanded for both of you, and especially you Pisces, a lot of inner strength to go through all this through whatever legal situation needs to be gone through. And at the heart of your reading, there's a definite ending, this Ten of Sword. Bringing the serenity, the sense of now I know. This could be the masculine, this could be you, this could be both of you. Now you guys know. Nothing can get in the way of that. No other people, no other temptations. You guys know you are to be you are there's a start in the in the center here you're gonna build this home you're gonna build this rainbow together when you come together you are the full spect spectrum of energy. It's like you guys are both whole, but when you come together, it adds so much. The love is so strong that it just illuminates you both and the world. You bring light. Yeah, and look at that, Pisces, what came through. Death and rebirth and <laughs> high priestess. <laughs> And here we have the Three of Pentacles. Exactly. You guys want to work this out together. You want to collaborate. This is beautiful energy. So, 
you both want to work on this union if it is not possible at this time this is what you guys have on your mind and you both need to at this time listen to your intuition high priestess here very strong pisces energy as you both go through this transformation this death of something from the past stay connected to the water her feet are in the water and again by the way those two like two wands here that is calling to this card justice the balance between your mind and your emotions but what is the balance between your mind and your emotions it's your intuition your intuition is your heart center which will lead you and guide you through this transformation pisces through this death of the old yeah and the death of what the seven of sword here whatever was shady whatever was not clear you know this needs to be cut off this needs the truth needs to be spoken out things need to become official here something is a little bit hidden but boy there's so much fire so much beauty here clarity will come we have the ace of sword here and once this clarity will come you guys can reach the ten of pentacle which is full commitment long term and by the way behind look at what we have <laughs> the sun and the hierophant pisces and what the two of cups i mean this is definitely showing that this is the soulmate connection this is the confirmation but here again this um confirmation as well in the sun card you have two soulmates as well kindred spirits the happiest card of the deck this commitment is going to bring so much happiness you guys are meant to be together there's no way around this this is crazy i have 11 11 everywhere i have two of wands i have four of wands this is union card for twin flames there's nothing all that is needed is this justice this truth being spoken being made official this clarity so that you guys can get out of the shittiness of the past seven of sword secrets and shine brightly your love pisces this is gorgeous <laughs> Let me get just one more oracle card for you here. So whatever you're going through right now, Pisces, you just know that there will be celebration. As you've seen, there's, there was all this music coming through um, in this reading. Stay close to your heart. Stay close to your intuition. Stay strong. stay connected to your serenity within deeper than all of the ego stuff that might want to block you don't be afraid of setting your ground speaking your truth remember stand your ground first chakra as you do so and you you are strong and who you are and your se sense of self-worth that will enable the masculine to have more strength to actually step up to the plate and make things clear in, life, in their life to make sure that whatever is left behind you know whatever other situation in their life is still lingering secrets shady stuff need to be cut off death because you're worthy of that you're showing them that you won't take anything else you will take only clarity only truth in the rest of your life moving forward you don't want any remnants of the past miracle <laughs> Pisces miracles believe in the miracle the star it is possible remember you're the strength in this situation in this relationship you need to stand tall
and not accept anything less than your worth, Pisces. And that will give the power to the other to actually rise to you. Yeah? Because you deserve truth, you deserve clarity, you deserve true love. You don't deserve whatever shady stuff, being the second in another situation, not it being official. I don't care how strong the love is. That person needs to step up to the plate. You deserve to be the official one, Pisces. <clears throat> the moon. Yeah, and again, you have miracles. So Pisces, the miracle won't go away. It's like the... Um, Six of Wands victory card, it won't go away as well. This path you're taking, continue, stay strong because you're going towards a miracle, you're going towards victory, and whatever was shady here with the moon, whatever was a little bit illusory, you weren't sure, whatever is going on, continue because this is ambition. Just stay focused on your path and things and miracles will, will occur there's transformation here happening death and rebirth you are co-creating you are the empress stay focused pisces and you have here rebirth <laughs> definitely as you're being reborn you're allowing the relationship also to be reborn this other person the masculine to also get a chance to show how strong they are and how they can themselves put an end to what was not just to you, Pisces. And to them, really, at the end of the day, you are mirrors of each other. Yeah, Pisces. I love you. Please do take care and fly high you have here on her crown two wings here remember you also had two angels by your side metatron and michael okay i love you take care see you very soon